Oh, Essentially, man. the guy that many thought was calling the plays, Gay saying, I wasn't, I was. Nobody knows what's going on here. Key, what do you make of this as a former Jet? Yeah, well, it's not even necessarily a former Jet because I think he shouldn't have been hired to begin with, right? But I just, I, I don't, like, I don't know. I do know, but I don't understand. What goes through the minds of the individuals help making the decisions to hire this dude or any coach for that matter? When you're sitting down and I'm hiring the CEO to run the situation in a company, I'm going to be asking him certain stuff. Let it out, Key. Why in the hell would you hire him to begin with? Let it out. Like he's sitting up there getting caught in a lie. Well, I actually did two minutes, but uh, hold on, bruh. One minute you said you wasn't calling the plays. The next minute you're only doing third downs. Then the next minute you're doing two minutes. When the, <laughs> the reporter goes, well, I saw a coach talking to somebody else when the play was being called. <laughs> he wasn't doing anything. He wasn't doing anything. <laughs> now, what? I mean, that's, that is hilarious. It's not hard, Key. It's not it's, hard. It's not hard. In two-minute situation, but in most offenses that I've been in, mm. we call the two-minute, the quarterback, because it's moving so fast. All you do is get a signal from the sideline, and you call it. You don't look at the call sheet. You say you, you, you're moving. You, everything is on the run. So they're going to give you a four, a two, a three. You know we're in two minutes. What a two means, what a three means, you just know. And so, I, I don't know. I, how could he? Key, I, 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 I love Peyton Manning to death. And I love him. One of my good buddies in this league. I don't know how he put his name to that. Mm. I just don't know how Peyton was able. I, I don't know. Endorsing Gase or something. Yeah. How did you put your name to that? And I know Peyton and Archie and them sit back at home and they go look at each other at Thanksgiving. They probably was looking at each other going, you really signed off on that dude? Mm. I mean, like, come on. I've worked through so many emotions with Adam Gase. Like, I'm over being angry at Adam Gase now. Like, this is who he is. That's why I said for me, the most entertaining times on Sundays are watching the post presser with those individuals, yeah. Matt Nagy, him. I mean, you're just going to get the best form of entertainment. And now, just triple down. Just stay with him. I mean, I don't want to change things up. I don't want to win the game. Stay in the Trevor Lawrence race. Stay in it. Let him keep blundering games. Go 0-16, and 0-16, oh however the hell you want to phrase it, <laughs> and just get to the prize at the end of the road. Whatever that prize is, hopefully he will not be around to see he that can't prize be, unwrapped. He can't be. There's no way. Man, some of the Wait. weirdest things have gone on in the National Football League in terms of retaining Ooh. coaches and hiring coaches. So, Can we go back to something we talked about at a break? Can we just let it out? What's that? You word? and I were just talking about the fact that, you know, all these coaches. Yes. And you said a lot. Of, you look, there are five or six good coaches in the league. Yeah, there's the a handful of, other, of them. The rest of them bums. Let's talk about why they get hired. Because it's the, nepotism. Exactly. It's friends. It's people. Exactly. You, you look at the Bob Quinn situation. He hired Matt Patricia after well-documented Coach Caldwell comes off a 9-7 and seven season mm -hmm. after a 9-7 and seven season and a team going to the playoffs the two years previously, then you hire him because y'all used to drink coffee in the lounge together in New England. Boom. Oh, Zubin, when I get hired, I'm bringing you on as my capologist. Boom. Like, you don't do that. You hire the people best fit for that. Bob Quinn went on to talk about they needed a leader who could beat the good teams in this league because Coach Caldwell surely can't. No. Like what? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.